everybody, it's Alec Walton here. Today's Azure Everyday video will focus on an introductory to what is Azure SQL Data Warehouse. First, Azure SQL Data Warehouse is a service that lives in Microsoft Azure, Microsoft's offering of public data center. It is also a platform as a service offering. This is also known as a database as a service. Platform as a service or database as a service allows you to develop, run, and manage your data applications without the complexities of building and maintaining the infrastructure typically associated with developing and launching a traditional data warehouse. The only thing you have to be concerned with is loading and querying the database. Also, Azure SQL Data Warehouse is also a massively parallel processing system. Azure SQL Data Warehouse leverages massively parallel processing, or MPP, to quickly run complex queries across petabytes of data. An MPP system executes queries across a distributed system where different computers called nodes cooperate to give you the answers to your queries. The way Azure SQL Data Warehouse works, it is split into multiple machines. It relies upon distributed storage. Azure SQL Data Warehouse uses multiple machines to compute the answers to your queries. This is also known as distributed compute. In a traditional data warehousing scenario, which may be comprised of one large machine, physical or virtualized, and typically on-premise utilizes symmetric multiprocessing, or SMP. This is a classical SQL Server setup that most are probably familiar with. An MPP system, on the other hand, are comprised of multiple machines, not just one big single machine. The MPP machines will all have a slice of the data from the database. When a query comes in, there is a coordination done of the query execution plan so that query is distributed to each machine or node in order to get the answer to your queries quickly and efficiently. As a result, this scales very well as the amount of data increases. In Azure SQL Data Warehouse, we have a concept called the Data Warehousing Unit or DWU. This is a measure of the underlying compute powder of the database. What this means is that on Azure SQL Data Warehouse, you don't have to select specific configurations of CPUs, RAM, or storage. The only thing you have to worry about is the amount of data warehousing units that you provision. Now, with Azure SQL Data Warehouse, we have the notion of Gen 1 data warehouses and Gen 2 data warehouses. Gen 1 data warehouses are measured in DWUs, or data warehouse units, Gen 2 data warehouses are measured in Compute Data Warehouses, or CDWs. Each performance tier uses a slightly different unit of measure for their data warehouse units. This difference is reflected on the invoice as the unit of scale directly translates to billing. Both DWUs and CDWs support scaling compute up or down and positive compute when you don't need to use a data warehouse. Let's say I provision a data warehouse with 100 DWUs. I did a test, and then I loaded three tables in 15 minutes, and then I ran a report. That report rendered back in 20 minutes. I then adjusted my DWUs and increased my compute power to 500 DWUs. When I ran my test again, this time I loaded three tables in three minutes, and I ran my report in four minutes. Therefore, my improvement was five times. Basically, the data warehouse unit is a comparison unit. If I do a workload in 100 DWUs and then I increase that fivefold to 500 DWUs, I should expect an approximate five times improvement of my workload. By ch changing your service level, you alter the number of DWUs that are allocated to the system, which in turn adjusts the performance and the cost of your system. Thank you for checking out this Azure Everyday video. Have a great day.